Hello everyone. I am here to help you get logged into quavermusic.com at home. Simply open a new browser window and type in quavermusic.com. That will probably open up this window. In the upper right hand corner, click on the green login button and then you get to the login screen. I am going to log in as a student with a Quaver name I made. You're going to use your own Quaver name and password and then simply hit enter. You do not need to sign in with Google and you do not need to enter any code in this white box. If it asks you for a code, send a message to your music teacher and we will get back to you with a special code. But none of them should ask for a code. Hit enter and you are in. It might ask you if you want to save your password in Google. I would recommend doing that if you're using your Chromebook and you're logged into your student um, Google account because then you will never have to sign in when you come back. It will automatically sign you in. It will also ask you if you would like to use the website with Flash or without Flash. I recommend that if you are on a computer or a Chromebook, choose with Flash. If you are on an iPad, choose without Flash. The difference is if you are using Flash, you will have access to everything that is on Quaver Street, including the Metro and the Music Room. If you are not using Flash, for example, if you're on an iPad, you will still have access to the assignments and creatives and student interactives and books. So choose Flash if you're on a computer and you might have to allow Flash to run. And then you will see this screen. And you will hear a different welcome um, song every time you log in. From here, you can enter the Metro, or you can go in the Music Room or the Info Center. Up here is the Music Room as well. Um, there are so many places to go. The first place we are going to go right now is to the student dashboard to find our assignments. So click on the gold student tab underneath the snowman. If you can't see it, just scroll up and down in your browser window like I'm doing here with the mouse or with your finger on the screen. Or if you'd like to resize in Google Chrome, click on the three dots and choose zoom to 80 and you'll be able to see everything in your window. So click on the gold student tab. If for some reason Flash is not working for you, you can go to this gray box down here and click to change your Quaver music back to Flash. Right now Flash is on, so if I click there, it's going to shut Flash off. Right here, you'll find your assignments, A plus assignments. So if you click on that, it might prompt you for which class you need to check an assignment. Um, but most of you are only in one class, so it will not have this screen. It will just go to a screen like this and it'll say assignments for and the teacher's name, which class section you're in. And all of your assignments will be here on the left if you click on the all tab. This is just a playlist of our favorite songs. It's actually not an assignment for the first grade. It's just something that's fun that they can sing along with. To launch this assignment, read the instructions and click the green launch button. And then just like at school, you keep clicking the yellow arrow for next to go to the next screen. For YouTube videos, the play button is in the center of the screen. Simply tap the center of the screen. Hello. And the video will play. If you hit next, then it goes to the very next screen in the assignment. You can even click on all of these things. Be safe. Just like we would in class. Be polite. And for songs like Unique, the play button is the same as in the classroom. Simply click the play button. You can even go over to here to Mixer and turn off the vocals if you just want to sing it yourself. You can even have it loop over and over if you like and have it play continually forever. When you're finished with the lesson, simply hit exit and the browser tab will close. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard here. 
Also on this page, you can read Quaver books. When you click on Quaver books, it will take you to a whole list of Quaver books about different people or different topics. So you could click on a Quaver book for Beethoven, for example, and you can read either the basic book, which is for younger students, or the advanced book. And then when you click on it, the book will open on the screen and simply use the yellow next button to scroll through the book. Some of the books have a yellow next button in the middle of the book and some of them have it at the bottom. The book will not read itself to you. So you will have to do your own reading. At the end of each book is a little quiz. Where was Beethoven born? Hmm, he was born in Germany. And you won't find out until the end which ones you had correct. And if you answer all of them correctly, it will unlock this diploma for you. To exit the Quaver book, simply hit exit. Notice also that when I was in books, on the left-hand side, we now get all of our other categories of things we can use within Quaver, and you can use them from here, or you can use them back from the dashboard or from Quaver Street. There are so many ways to access things on Quaver. So in music theory, you can do a lot of activities like beat or no beat shelf, of listening to a sound, and you click on it, and you say, wow, that basketball is bouncing at a beat. So you put it on the beat shelf. But the rainstorm sounds like it has no beat. Oops, I put the basketball on the wrong shelf, didn't I? I'm sure you'll do a better job than I did. <laughs> to close that, simply hit exit. And you can go back and choose any other activity to do in there. In instruments and knowledge, you'll find the famous instrument crane that you all love. You can also make a soundtrack. You can click through different instruments and how they work. So instrument crane is something you all love. Mm, sounds like a string instrument. So you click on the string box. If you're up for a challenge, turn on the game mode and you'll get a timer and you can see how high of a score you can get dropping the instruments into the boxes. To exit, simply hit exit. Music creation includes um, lots of places to write songs or write music or use the rhythm selecta. Movement, you can create body percussion. Playing music, you can pull up a guitar thing. You can pull up an ORF library. And the ORF library is like having one of our xylophones on your own screen. So simply pull up, pick, pick one that you like, like for example, the bass xylophone. And you can play the songs you know. I want a CCC, another CCC, and now an F times three, and back to CCC. So you can play the songs that we know on the on-screen xylophone. To exit, simply hit exit. And um, for third graders, there's even a recorder section in here, and you can pull up a fingering chart or play some of the songs that we have learned. So that's really, really neat. The creatives are a really cool place to write varying tracks. There are the updated creatives that you can use on an iPad or on any device, and then there are the classic creatives that you have to have Flash turned on. So that's for a computer. Um, and you can write cue grooves, a cue composer. You can even make a dance or a skit. Those are all really neat. We'll get into those in depth in another video. I'm gonna exit and go back to Quaver Street and click on my avatar from there and click change my avatar. And from there, you can click on different features and different instruments for your avatar to have. I'm gonna change my avatar to a different instrument right now. And I'm gonna give her a cello and hit save. And now my avatar on Quaver Street has a cello. Okay, when you want to leave Quaver Music, 
You can log out or you can simply close the browser or close the tab. If you have any questions at all, please message your teacher. Look forward to seeing you inside Quaver and inside the Google Classroom.